Okay, so the first user profile I'm going to show you how to make is just a standard adult user account. So it's going to look similar to the one I have here. So there's a few different ways you can do that. You can go into the settings and under accounts, you can create their profile that way, or you can just come across to your icon here and go switch account and then navigate through to the end here and go add account. If you click on that, we can go add an account. Here is where you would want to scan the QR code from the phone of the user because they will have their Google account already logged in on their phone. And then this will automatically log them in, or you can also come down here and sign in using their Gmail. And then once that account has been created, you will see them pop up in here. So the next account I'm going to show you how to make is a kids account. So we'll just go back to my icon and we're going to go over to add an account. This time we're going to go add a child account. So it'll take us through a bit of a setup process so we can customize this and set up any parental controls we want. Go get started and in here we'll go add child. Okay, so in here you want to put your child's name. And then we go next. And then we're going to select John's age and let's say he is eight. And then you can just read through all of this. See here they have information about Family Link. Family Link is an app by Google which helps you set parental controls across all your children's devices and you can manage it all in one place. It's a really great app. I'd suggest just going to your Google Play Store and installing Family Link on your phone and then you can add all your children's tablets or mobile phones and then you can set up parental controls in there as well. And this will also link back to their Google TV account as well. You just want to agree to these, have a read through it so you understand what you're agreeing to and click agree. Then you'll be sent a verification code. This will be the pin for the adult to have. You don't want to share this with the child. They'll be able to get into the settings and change any parental controls. So I already have a pin set up on my account. So I'm just going to go use existing pin. Okay, so now we want to select apps that John can have on his home screen. So you can go through all of these apps and see what you want to give your kids. You may need to have subscriptions for and some might be free. But for this one, I would like to give John YouTube Kids. And down here are the apps that we have already installed on one of the adult accounts. If you want to install an app for your child, make sure you go do that on your adult account first. And then it should appear in this list and you can select it. So I'll go across and John can have access to Netflix. When adding other accounts like Netflix or Disney, you need to remember that they will be able to click on the app and see everyone's profiles so they can still access adult content if you haven't already locked down your Netflix profiles with pins. So on Netflix, you can actually go into your account settings and set a pin for any adult profiles. So we're just gonna go allow and I'll also give him Disney. I think that'll do and we'll just go install and continue. Okay, so in here you can also set screen time. So if you want to give kids a daily limit, you can choose what days of their week they have it. So if you want them to have it every day, that's fine. Or if you untick it, it will say like no limit on that day. So let's say the weekends, they can watch it for as long as they want. If we just go next, then you can say for the days of the week, they have a limit of an hour 30. You can also set a bedtime schedule so the Google TV won't be able to be used from say 8 p.m. or whatever you set it to. Um, and then if you're happy with all of that, you can go, looks fine. So child lock is a good thing to have on if you don't want your kids to be able to access anyone else's profiles. So if you have it turned off, they will be able to exit their profile and go over to your profile. Um, but if you have it turned on, if they try to exit or even turn off the TV and turn it back on, it'll always ask them for a pin. You can set content restrictions. So this will be for things in your Google family library. So if you've ever purchased or rented any TV shows or movies through your Google TV library, this will be for this content. And then here is where you can choose a theme. So let's give John a space theme. Looks fine. And a profile picture. And we'll give him a little astronaut. Looks fine. And if you're giving them access to YouTube Kids, um, you'll need to click on this to go through a setup for YouTube Kids. Right, get started. So here is where you'll choose the age of your child. So YouTube Kids can make sure they filter the content 
and target it for your child. So John is eight, so we'll just go five to eight. So we'll just go next. You can turn the search on or off. I think John's old enough now, he can search for his own things. And we'll go done. So now we've set all this up, we'll go next. Okay, so let's, we're almost done. Okay, so here is John's profile. He has YouTube Kids, ABC iView, Disney and Netflix. And if you wanna give him more apps later on, you can just go manage app and you'll need to put in your pin that you set, then you can add more apps to his account. Down here, you can see we have Peppa Pig, which is um, what I've purchased on my Google family library. It will only display things that are rated under PG or G because that's what I selected in the settings. Um, there's none of my family library movies that I've purchased in here because of the rating. If you don't want any of the family library stuff appearing, you can also turn that off in settings. Once they're on their profile, there's no way of them getting out of it. Even if they turn the TV off, it'll just open back up onto their profile. To get out of their profile you need to click on switch account and then put in the pin and then you can navigate back to your profile. They can customize their profile by themselves so they can go back in and pick their theme or they can change their profile picture and then across to settings where you need to put your pin in and in here is where you can go back and change your screen time or your content restrictions or hide the movies down the bottom if you don't want those displaying. That's it for this video. If you want to learn how you can connect your headphones or Bluetooth speaker to your Google TV, click on this video.